Hello friends, welcome to Planning P6. Hope you are doing well. Today we are here with a topic of how we can manage the contractor with the help of activity codes. The activity codes, how you can use it, that tutorial is already uploaded on our channel. You can see how you can manage the phase wise, zone wise, area wise, country wise, or whatever. If your project is too expanded in different cities, then you can also manage through the cities as well. As is per the work breakdown structure, we are trying to cover by the engineering phase procurement or generally with the there are too many items. So there are too many difficulties or the structure we need to do as per the client requirement. So inside the organization or it is a contract client requirement how we can manage the contractors through activity codes it is so easy because if some somewhere you have to see the cost earned values or man or something for the contractor so how you can manage through activity codes so let's move forward to primavera and i will tell you how we can do it so open the primavera p6 here i have created the schedule manage contractor with the activity codes so this is our project. So here, how we can manage it. I will go to the activity codes. Here is the activity codes in the enterprise section. You can see here the activity codes. Other codes we have, but mostly we are using the activity code. There are all codes are for the grouping and sorting for the different ways. So activity codes, okay, we will prepare a new one. I have deleted the previous activity codes for any project. So I will add, there are three options you can found here, global. Global means you can use within the database or if you are using the EPPM, the software you can use the for the all projects. So activity codes for the EPS, EPS means you will use the activity codes in within the EPS. If you select the EPS, then you are able to do within that EPS, not other enterprise project structures. So here, if I go for the EPS and I will add one, then first of all, he will ask the Primavera ask me to give the enterprise project structure, how you will can do it. So here EPS and the project you are able to do only for the project for this project, if you are preparing for this project, so that, but for the all you can move it to after the preparation or any time you have option to move to the global to use any other project so here first of all i don't have any activity code i will create the activity code i will do it here to the add one okay i will modify and add here here activity code name i will just say contractors because i am preparing for that contractors okay close it so here i will select the contractors then i will have to add the activity codes for here for example i will do it okay so here there are no, I have deleted all the activity codes for that. So here is the new code value. So code value that is maybe I can say contractor. When you are assigning that only value code will be show. So here I will say contractor ABC or 001 whatever our name you can use it. So color if that is only one color like this is a group and sorting wise you can see how you can see it. So here, if I go there, for example, I will go here and I modify, you can extend the length of the code from here. For this code length, it is maximized up to the seven. If you want to write the contractor one during the assignment, you want to see the complete name. So you have to increase the value up to whatever you want or write here. For example, I will write 25 and after the writing, I will close it. Now I will able to write the same as it is here okay okay so contractor one is there color for example if you want to write here the contractor for engineering procurement subcontractors for a construction or specific work you will write here the specific work name and then under that you will add the contractor our contractor for civil works mechanical and then under the mechanical there are too many subcontractors then you can write here that for example contractors for civil okay and then i will add here and i will move to under that contractor civil and then here contractor 01 i will just write here 1.1 contractor 1.1 and then here i will just write here contractor just copy and paste 
I will write here 001. Okay, now I can give any of the color because of the grouping and sorting. And if you have another, you can add it. So same, you can copy and paste as well. I will just copy from here and then paste there again. And I will just move back to the section that this is main contractor 002. Okay, and then I will write here mechanical, for example, or erection, whatever you can write it mechanical to 1.1 okay so here mechanical dash 001 so these are our now mechanical contractor i will give the color any of the color and here also i will might be change the color okay and here same color okay these are now the level of the that contractor if you have prepared in the project then you will have option to do by this way so these are now we have prepared remember that we have prepared the activity code by the contractor so here i will just close it and i will import the column of the activity codes you can see here activity code global if you have activity codes projects then it will show here for example i will go there and just create dummy activity codes for example i will just here modify add and then do it for this way okay and uh, do it a b c okay close and then one i will add here modify add and then i will say pp6 okay close close it and go to the columns here you can see now the activity codes eps activity codes global and activity codes for the project so we have prepared for the global now you can see all are different so i will import the contractors so contractors is there this tutorial is specifically how you can use the activity codes for contractor managing of contractors you have option to do too many things with the activity codes now you will be able by the grouping and sorting resource assignment activities each and everything you will manage by this way for example i will just say here here i will just say this activity is fallen under the contractor 001 contractor here the code will show only just i will increase the row height okay and now here i will just add that there is a mechanical there are two contractors so you have option to do fill down for example fill down here you can use the fill down option to rectify their wbs will not show here so here i will just assign some of them for the civil okay if you assign the main one then it will be automatically assigned under the but while you are breaking into the levels activity code so assign the level for example we have created up to the level 2 assign the level 2 so here i will do it fill down option okay fill down so now you can see here our contractor has been assigned over there second option how we can see it first of all we will go and second option how we can assign the codes by using excel that i will explain as well so here i will go for the how i can see it table i will go to the sorry i will right click here our grouping and sorting option is also there here you can go by this way group and sort or you can go by this option group and sort directly and here whatever the name of the code you have prepared we have prepared as a contractor so contractors click here the contractors apply and okay now you can see here contractor civil under the contractor civil what is that that contractor civil 001 and under the civil 001 you can see here now the different codes and you can have option to now do it customized by this way if you have the want to see the levels like this you have to change by this way other than this by default values grouping and sorting it will show you so you can have option to see the tutorial on it how you can do the visualization of your software so here you can see under the contractor you can see here the schedule percent complete each and everything you can now manage where the code is assigned you can see this contractor civil duration is 176 days and it is starting and finishing on this date and this contractor mechanical is starting and finishing on this date if you want to see actual cost schedule percent complete any of the performance percent complete or earned values variances whatever you want to see it will show here at a roll up 
if you have for example we have before the as was the as per the wbs for example i will go for the wbs and wbs here this one apply and okay now it is rolling up by the wbs level dates and everything i have to see for the for example milestone don't have any contractor so manufacturer like i don't have any of the wbs separately for that one so i can manage it by the contractor as well and either you have the wbs and under the wbs there are different activities are managed by the different contractor the project is to uh, work for example 25000 20000 activities so you can manage by this way managing the contractor and if the client or your top management want to see or clear the invoice of the contractor so you can manage by the grouping and sorting after that after the assigning that you will do at the once and then for the throughout project you will have to just apply the group and sort after the grouping and sorting you can see how we can that is no contractor i will just go there and see the contractors we have prepared by the for the contractors not contractor contractors okay apply and okay you can see here now you have to no contractor we have not not assigned for those activities if you assign then it will fall in under the whatever the grouping and sorting that if i go for the resource assignment if i don't remember there is any resource so there is no resource assignments so if there is any resource assignment i will just clear the filter there is no filter so you can have option to see it by the if the resource assignment as per the wbs sorry for the activity codes with the similar way you can go in the resource assignment and group and sort and select here by customizing here the same contractor resource it will show you the resources under fallen under the contractor so that is secondly how we can assign the activity codes by using the excel here i will just go there you have to assign for example i will just delete others uh, the some of the activity codes here delete it yes okay and for mechanical also i will delete for the every activity code you have to assign two activity codes just for the two activity if you have three activity code assigned to the some activities so now we will go to the how we can do it so i will go and export the file into the excel file okay activities next and then i will export it next and i will add here the template for the xls i will say here activity codes and here i will i don't want this one i don't want anything activity name yes i activity name i need so start and finish i don't need wbs code these are default that, that will go with that so i will go for the activity codes global and contractors i will do there okay next give the location to the file where you want to save i want to save on the desktop this is okay open okay open next and finish now here you can see i have exported the file into the excel here is our file for example i will go there you can see here the activity codes are two activity codes are there if you are confused by the then you have option to write the complete name as a code value it will show here the code for example this is now contractor one if i want to assign this code to some of the activities here i will just do by this way and this code to the other activities i am just doing the copy space okay and here as well so if you have too many activities instead of fill down option you have to use this option if you want to delete any of the activities you can after that we will save it and close the file after the closing i will go there and import file into the xls file okay next select the file from the desktop not from the documents there is the file next okay update existing project if you will do here the create new then it will not overwritten over there so here i will update okay because i have changed something activities okay next finish close now you can see the all values has been assigned under that mechanical and civil there is this is the way how you can do it for example for the resource assignment and other feature you can use use it hopefully this tutorial will helpful for you people please like share and comment on our tutorials thanks for watching allah hafiz